Hey team, Chef Eric Gephardt here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, as we like to say, simple things done perfectly win every time. And a cheeseburger is no exception. Welcome to Cheeseburger 101. So first thing we need to do is make our patties. Uh, E3 Beef has sent us some gorgeous ground beef and we've got one pound. So uh, we gotta make our decision. Are we gonna do doubles? Are we gonna do singles? I say we do two doubles. A double-double, if you will. Double-double. A double. A monster. A, well, you know, not necessarily a monster, but uh, yeah, let's make a monster, you know. <laughs> That's great. And I'm not weighing this out. I'm not measuring it. There's a couple of things that really make a burger successful. Uh, and for me, again, it's just keeping it simple, but it's also the grill setup. So we're going to analyze that here in just a second. Notice I'm, I'm making this round in my hand and then flattening it out a little bit. And I want to analyze the size of my bun as well. And we want to go slightly larger than the bun because there's going to be some uh, shrinkage that occurs in the actual burger as we cook it. And that is, that's great, that's great. Don't overthink it, round, round, round. Push flat. And to me, if it's not exactly round, it tastes better. You, know, <laughs> you can taste shapes, right? Nice and even thickness all the way around. Uh, and think of salt as more than just making something salty, it's an amplifier. So we're gonna taste that beef better because of that salt. And then we use, I thought it was salt and pepper mix, but uh, we've got a little salt there. We got a little Lane's barbecue pepper. Hey, easy guy, easy. There we go. And just a touch of oil on each one of these. Da, 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 da. We're stabilized at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. This could very well be 450, so anywhere between 450 and 500. And I've got two zone cooking going on here. So notice I've got a direct grill grate halfway down in the middle section of the divide and conquer system. And then on the other side, I've got a deflector shield creating a semi indirect side here. So imagine, ah, I don't even want to tell you I'm mad. Here I go again. We're going to talk our way through it. Let's just do it together. Let me get another pair of gloves on, bring these beauties on over the grill and Find a little spot. Beautiful, that's what we want to hear. Season the other side from above. I like this big flaky kosher salt, and I also like this 16 gauge black pepper, the larger stuff. Oh yeah, beautiful. Let's go ahead and close the dome and allow that natural lump charcoal to not only cook, but season the beef. Don't overthink it on the cheese. We're gonna use a smoked cheddar just cause I walked up on it and that looked really great. Uh, but I do like to grate my own cheese so that it has more meltability than the dried out stuff that's pre-shredded in the bag. Cheese is shredded. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, starting to see it sweat just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip. Oh yeah. Perfect. Dome down again and let's prep the rest of the vegetables. Remember this is 101 style, so we're gonna slice. If you don't like tomatoes, don't put them on there. I love them. We're gonna hit a little bit of salt on those. That really amplifies the flavor like we talked about. Uh, yellow onion, if you prefer red, go red. I like yellow onion, not too thin. Buns, we're gonna go for a little buttered bun. All right, let's open this grill up and let's sneak our buns onto that indirect side. Let's sneak our onions on like we talked about. Oh yeah. And now is the time we're gonna top all of these burgers with cheese. Pile it high. The fact that we shredded it ourselves is gonna give us a much better melt. Oh my gosh, this is looking great. And now we're gonna shut that lid and let all those drippings season everything that's going on here. These are gonna be great burgers. Sauce is super simple. It's my secret sauce. Now it's your secret sauce. A uh, little bit of Thousand Island and Chipotle and adobo. Just using the, the sauce there. Sweet, spicy, salty, delicious. Good on tacos, great on burgers. All right, let's grab those buns off of there. And that's what we want to see. Just a nice little bit of toasted bun there. 
The bottoms here, the tops here. All right, little sauce, top and bottom, of course. Uh, we're gonna use a little bib lettuce. I love the delicate bib or butter lettuce. It's fantastic on a burger. We're gonna top that with the tomato. Oh yeah. Now let's swing those bottoms over here and throw the burgers right on top. This. Remember we said we were gonna make doubles, so we're gonna stack that. Wow. In fact, what, let's go ahead and put these smoked onions on top of the tomato. Now we go on with our burger. Hey, 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 hey. Dude. This is crazy. Bring it Bounce on back. Next. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> deal with the other one. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a stunning set of burgers. Uh, I mentioned earlier simple things done perfectly win every time. It doesn't get more simple than that. Uh, and I love the half indirect, the half direct. That's such a fun way to cook because you can kind of slow things down, right? So if we wanted to, if our burgers were thicker, we could even get char on that direct side and then flip it over to the indirect side and melt our cheese over there if we wanted to. Opens up that bottom grate for direct grilling for vegetables or side dishes. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these burgers. Now you want a little more rare? Cook it more rare. You want a little more done? Cook a little more done. You know what I mean? It's uh, the world's your oyster. They say, if you don't get it on you, you didn't do it right. <laughs> and I definitely got that on me. Um, team, don't overthink the burger. I'll tell you, the smoke, the smoke cheddar was nice, but I wouldn't go shopping for it. You know, I just used a regular cheddar. There was enough smoke in that dome to get it done. Um, and add anything you want to. Or again, if, if tomatoes offend your sensibilities, just don't put them on, right? So don't overthink it. Simple things done perfectly win every time. Team, if you enjoyed this setup, method, recipe, as much as we enjoyed uh, cooking it for you today, don't forget to do all the things. Subscribe, hit notifications, leave a comment. We love those. Uh, and as always, from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy grilling. Mm -hmm.